If you're a serious prepper and you're looking into solar power as a way to protect your home from a loss of the electric grid, then you're going to want to watch this video because I'm going to explain to you the different types of solar power systems that are available and the type that's best for you and the numbers and performance metrics that are most important from a grid down preparedness perspective. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge. And for the past eight years, I've been helping families get their home set up to be able to survive a loss of the electric grid. And oftentimes that means we're using solar power with battery backup. What I'm gonna be explaining in this video is what you need to know about solar power for preppers, because I'll tell you, 90% of the solar that's installed on homes in America does not help you whatsoever in a grid down environment. All right, so let's take a look at the three types of solar power system that we have available. The first type is the fully off-grid system. Um, these are the least popular in terms of just number of installations out there. But the fully off-grid system, you might find this sometimes in a, uh, in a hunting cabin or you know, some kind of a, a retreat property where there physically is no access to the, the power company. And so in this case, the solar system has to be fully self-contained and fully sufficient to provide the energy needs of the property day or night. So typically, you're collecting energy with solar during the day, you're storing a reserve of energy in a bank of batteries, so you have energy available at nighttime as well, and then the next day the solar can just recharge the batteries and you can continue that cycle as long as you need. Um, also, for a, a fully off-grid system, it's, it's typical to have the option to plug in a portable generator, so that way if your batteries get low and the sun's not shining, you can fire the generator for a few hours and get the batteries charged back up. So that's the off-grid system. This is designed purely as an independent power source where utility power is not available. Now the grid tied system, this is the most popular type of solar system that's, that's installed here uh, in America for homes. And with the grid tied system, as the name implies, you're still tied in with the power company. Um, you can power the home on solar and even sell excess solar back to the power company during daylight hours to earn credits. And then uh, during evening hours, you can just purchase power from the power company like you do now. So uh, you don't have to have any storage batteries with this system because whatever solar you don't need, you can just sell it or, you know, we, we call it sell it. Really, it's, it's just getting credited, added onto your account so that when you're buying power from the, the company at nighttime, you've got credits already earned up, so you're not having to pay out of pocket in a lot of cases. So that's the grid tied system. It's gonna give you the best dollar for dollar payback. That's why most solar owners own the grid tied system. However, it doesn't do anything to protect from a loss of the power grid, because if the grid goes down, the grid tie system just shuts down. It's, it's a safety requirement called rapid shutdown. So this type of system, although it is more affordable, is not gonna help you whatsoever in a grid down environment. And that's why here at Solar Surge, we specialize in the hybrid system, okay? Because the hybrid system allows you to operate in both modes. On a normal day, if utility power is available, you can take advantage of selling whatever solar power you don't need to the power company to help lower your bill as much as possible. But if the grid goes down, it has the ability to run as a fully self-contained off-grid system as well. Solar power collected during the daytime, batteries to store energy, so you have energy available at nighttime, and the ability to repeat that cycle as many times as you need, plus the ability to fire a portable generator or even a, a, a home standby generator as a last means of being able to charge your batteries even if the weather's bad. So the hybrid system is the system that offers maximum redundancy, and depending on what your needs are, we could do a smaller setup just designed to protect the cr you know, most critical systems in the house, or we can do a larger, uh, a larger installation capable of running virtually the entire house, including central air conditioning and things like that. So it really all depends on what your requirements are, but the hybrid system is the one that's gonna give you that true energy independence and peace of mind as a prepper that if the grid goes down and stays down, you and your house are never gonna be without electricity. What we want to do is get you set up to where you can basically, you know, take or leave the power company on your terms. We're not so much dependent on how much energy you're buying from them. The goal is to be able to make sure that if the grid goes down and it doesn't come back anytime soon, that you have enough solar energy collection and you have enough battery storage 
so that you can run all of your critical systems day or night, rain or shine. Now the next thing you're going to want to look at is what are those critical systems? In most homes, that's going to be things like the refrigerator, the lights, maybe the TV and the internet. But for homes that live in rural areas, you may also have an independent uh, well and septic system to have water service in the house. So for example, here where I live, uh, we have a 400 foot deep well. And at the bottom of that well, there's a three and a half uh, horsepower motor that needs electrical power to be able to pump fresh water up into the house. I also have a smaller pump on the septic system, which will help evacuate wastewater up and away from the house. Another thing that you may want to consider is heating and cooling for the home. You know, one of the largest energy consumers is heating and cooling, um, heating in particular. And so one of the things I always recommend my clients that are looking at solar as an option is, do you have access to any alternate fuels for your heating activities? Uh, whether that be heating the, you know, heating the air inside the home or whether it be cooking or you know, the water heaters for, for hot water service in the house. You know, do you have access to an alternate fuel where you can burn the fuel to, to do the heating as opposed to having to draw all of that from electricity? You know, having access to an alternate fuel for heating is one great way to save you a lot of expense and a lot of extra equipment on the solar and battery power side if you can just use alternate fuel for those things that require a lot of heat. And then the other thing you're going to want to consider is how long do you want to be able to run if there was no sunlight coming in? How much battery storage capacity do you need? So that, let's say, if the grid goes down and it's in the middle of winter time, so you might have overcast weather for multiple days in a row, how much battery reserve energy are you going to need to keep those uh, critical items powered on? Now, we typically recommend no less than 24 hours of battery uh, running time for your critical appliances, but we could even extend that out to 48 or 72 hours, um, depending on, on just how much redundancy you're looking for. So these are some of the things that we can help you understand here at Solar Surge. We specialize in using solar energy as a means of protecting the house from a loss of the electric grid. Now, I even wrote a book on the subject, what I I'd be happy to share with you uh, I'll put a link below in the description where you can download a free digital copy of my book, Built to Survive, where I explain to you in depth exactly how we designed and built this home to be able to run off the grid for up to a year at a time if the need were ever to arise. Now, folks, if you're looking at a similar project for your house, we would be help, happy to help you guide you through that process. Um, if you have a question about any of the information that we put out in our videos, just go ahead and post a, a question in the comment section below and we'll do our best to get back to you with an answer as soon as possible. Uh, also, if you need help getting connected with a company in your area that understands how to do solar from an emergency preparedness perspective, again, feel free to reach out to us or you can visit us on the website below and we'd be happy to get you connected with a qualified licensed installer right there in your area. Well, folks, as always, I encourage you, if you're getting value out of the information that we put out on the channel, be sure to click on that like button and hit the subscribe button as well. And also be sure to go ahead and share this information with other people that you think will benefit from what we have here. Well, thank you again for taking the time to watch this video. As always, I'm Joe Ordia, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.